Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3 d In this video, we're just going to go through some of the tips and tricks of doing UV editing. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button as it really helps me out and keeps updating my content. And also, if you find something useful in this video, just give me a like. Just let's get on with it. So let's kind of kick off. What I've done is I've applied the UV grid just so we can kind of see any warpage, like for instance, in this one. So I'm just gonna press tab to go into edit mode. Let's select just the top bit. Control L to select everything that's linked. From here, I'm gonna press U and unwrap. And you can see that's done a fairly good wrap, nothing special. If we have a look here, we can see that the boxes are fairly uniform, but you know what, whoop de doo Let's do some work on this piece here. So this is one cylinder that's wrapped around. So if we go tab into edit mode, you can see that it's still got the initial cylinder. However, if we went into material mode, we can see that we've got some weird, there's actually no UV unwrapping in this section, but you can see down here where the initial cylinder is, that's where it's UV unwrapped. So if I just select it, U, unwrap, conformal, it's not even unwrapping, that's weird. U, smart UV project, okay. We've got funky stuff. It really does want to UV unwrap, that's a weird problem. So what we're gonna do first is, let me do control I to invert my selection. And I'm just gonna press H, just so we can kind of work on this piece. I'm gonna select this face and delete that one because obviously that's inside the mesh and I'm gonna delete this one as well, face. Now what I'm gonna do is press two to go into edge select and I'm gonna alt left click the back edge because this is facing the engine. We don't care where the seam is. From here I can right click, mark seam. Now if we select everything, U, unwrap, we can see that we've got this piece unwrapped However, it's got a lot of deformation. So if we go into material mode, let's have a look. It kind of, it's no longer straight. It's got a bit of a twist in it. So what I'm gonna do is press tab to go into edit mode. From here, I'm gonna start off by selecting this top section. I'm gonna press S to scale, Y, so it's on the Y axis, and press zero, enter. So now that is perfectly flat. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually right click and I'm gonna pin those vertices to that area. So if I press U and unwrap, you can see now it's changed a bit. So let's do the same for this side. Let's select this line. I'm actually just gonna bring it down here. Let's just scale Y zero, and I'm gonna scale outwards. Let's go right click, pin again. Now I can do it again, U, UV, unwrap. There we go. So that's looking already a lot better from where it was. However, we got a bit of deformation here. And if we really wanted the straight lines, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna select this one, scale X zero to make it straight, scale X zero, scale Y zero, scale Y zero, there we go. Now if I select this face, I can right click, follow active quads, and there we go. Now it's one straight piece. So we've got a little bit of stretching here and obviously a little bit of shrinkage here, but you can see now that it's a uniform texture around the model. The other alternate we can do, let's select all these pieces in here and you can see it's just kind of crazy. We can do a few things. We can new, smart UV project, okay. And what that'll do is it'll automatically condense it into the best way of all the pieces fitting for Blender. However, there is a separate add-on called UV Pack Master which if I open that up, you can see all these gaps, but then if I press pack, oops, I gotta select everything, press pack. You can see now that this add-on kind of combines everything. Now, if you wanna pick that up, there's a link in the description. But alternately, if you're just gonna be throwing on kind of like a standard, you know, texture, we can just simply go U, and we can even just do a cubic projection, and then we can kind of scale to our heart's desires and so on and so forth. Um, but that only works if we're not using generated coordinates in the shader. So for instance, if I go into shading, then let's come in. Here we can see that I've got it set to ge uh, generated. However, if I went new V, we can kind of see this is how it's being projected. Now all these nodes here, this is from node preview, which is another add-on. Now alternatively, another quick tip is if we come into side view and this is kind of, we're just gonna be worrying about this, we can always press U and project from view. Now what this allows you, you can kind of see that what we're seeing here is projected onto the UV. If we wanna make it cover as much real estate as possible on the UV editor, we can go project from view bounds, but it will stretch 
in both the X and the Y. So that's just something to be mindful of. We can just kind of guesstimate roughly, scale that back down. And kind of there we have it. What's the benefit of having everything UV unwrapped is predominantly the render times are faster than PBR shaders because there's a lot less computing that needs to be done. So depending if your scene needs it, you can go kind of either way. So there's a few quick tips around UV unwrapping. If you got something out of this, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Also hit the like button just to kind of boost those YouTube algorithms for me.